Hello and welcome to Hey Team TV. So, I've had an absolute bitch of a morning, quite bluntly. Uh, been in the factory and it is just broken down and broken down and broken down and broken down and so on. And I've absolutely had enough. So, I am rigging up the dunks run again and I'm going to go have a change of scenery. Everyone ever needed a change of scenery when everything is going really, really wrong. So, I've got my losses in there of wasting time. And now I'm basically going to spread dung, have a change of scenery and go out and do some field work because I totally miss doing field work. Okay, so I arrived down here. I wasn't going to bore you with uh, sorting everything out and putting everything, all the kit on. Over here, over here, so the compost yard now, which is pretty, pretty full, goes all the way out to the end there. That bit also goes down, so it's actually deeper. But all in all, this is not quite enough dung for the whole farm. So some bits I'll explain as we go. Uh, probably a bit more than I got explained last last year. Or the begin yeah, beginning last year from side. Uh, so I'm going to be spreading these fields out through here. Uh, but down over the side of that field, there's a field that won't get done because it's basically like a marsh, it's a floodplain. Uh, as you can hear behind me, there's a main road. And when that main road was put through, this, well, these fields here didn't lie like this. They actually sloped down from the way that field over there slopes down. Ironically, that f the field out for here is called tip site because it had all the soil from the main road tipped on it. So it doesn't drain right. So this time of year, usually if we're going to spread dung on it, we spread it like, you know, straight after harvest. But quite often in the last few years, it just hasn't got done. So that will get uh, a lot of P&K and probably uh, some straight nitrogen at the same time. But as everyone knows, we don't spend a lot on fertilizer. We don't buy a lot of fertilizer, but that is one of the areas that will get done. Anyway, I am going to get on with getting loaded. Okay, loaded. Yes, as well as you may know, out here where the log store is as well, one of the lads is over sawing up logs. That's not complete to do with us. I'll go over that another time and explain more about it. But as I've just opened up the dung heap, now, usually I would start over there and work my way all the way through. But because we have a lot of people that come and dump dung, compost, grass clippings, leaves, and all that sort of stuff. They always turn around out there, reverse in here onto where the concrete is, so they don't get stuck out in the mud. And then we sort of bank it up. So I'm clearing this end or area first, so there's more room in this area. But as you, as if we come over here, yes, there is some fresh on the front, which I'm not gonna worry about because it's only a little bit. But as soon as you start looking in behind where I've just cleared, it's nice and black. Uh, this little section over here is really well rotted, which is perfect compost already. But that was brought in like that because it was someone that's had a pile in there at their farm for age or horse farm, horse yard for ages. And they wanted to clear it all out. And that's sort of why that's so composted. But first load loaded, get this going and you guys can see more action. <laughs> 
as you guys can tell, it is pretty cold just by the sheer amount of steam that we're getting off of here. But this new budding is proving to be a completely different monster. Now, we were told it holds exactly the same amount of dough as the old compact, and it definitely does not. It holds one hell of a lot more. So, well, well chuffed for purchase. And we can also put um, greedy boards on as well to get you more.
So, what is everyone spreading with? What spreaders have you had? What's been your favourite spreaders? Always interesting to know because you can always end up falling out the machine and possibly curious what else is around. Uh, we are currently, obviously, running the money. We in the past have had K2s, Marshall Vesuvius, the Marshall Vesuvius, absolutely hating it. Uh, some people get on with it, but you know, with the RAM idea, not so much. We had Marshalls, rotor spreaders before that as well. We also had Teagle, Teagle Titan, epic spreader, but that's pretty much what we've had. But it's always interesting, what have you guys got using, used? What was your favourite? Why? Uh, we went away from the rotor spreaders because it, it's just you know, just time consuming. Like having to wait all the time. And went to rear discharge and we've never looked back since. At, at the time, my old man would be um, the side spreaders, I don't attempt, I don't actually know off my head what they're referred to. But everyone knows the one, they've got a big auger inside and they chuck out the front um, on the side. We did look at one of those because at the time we had like slurry and stuff like that. But we just heard that people used to put dunk at the back and the front of the rear discharges to block up gaps and then just put slurry on top of it. So that's what we did. But looking back, was it the right choice? Yeah. Get rid of all what I've done. That was a stone, if anyone had that. And that's the only problem with them is if you're not paying attention, they throw stones at you. And the actual product says, as so if you have a move on for, as stones going out, it gets lower and then sort of fills out. Now, if you're paying attention and not talking to a whole load of awesome subscribers and non subscribers that yes please press that subscribe that'd be great um, you should be dropping the door down as the dome's going down by doing that you stop the stones coming back um, that was miscalculation by me because obviously I was talking to you but hope you guys are all well in lockdown three uh, I'm going to crack on and carry on with what I'm doing. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet done so, please let us subscribe. Ring that bell, that will notify you every time we upload. We are uploading three times a week. I can't give you specific, specific days because it will depend when I can get around to organising to edit. At some point I will get organised. Also, also, if you'd like to see any more of us, you can also find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. Now I've just missed something. If you think we're earning with all our videos and all our content, please give us a thumbs up. That would be wicked. You can also get merch on eBay. Like the bright orange hat. But until next time, hope you enjoyed this. Stay safe, stay well, see you in the next one.